Well, 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 we have ourselves a, another victim for reviews today. Today we're taking a look at the Smoosat SA3 e-scooter. This is a 36 volt, eight amp hour battery pack. They claim it does 15.6 miles per hour and about 20 miles of range. Obviously those are claimed specs, so we're gonna be testing all that out today to see if it actually meets, exceeds, doesn't quite hit those specs. But this is a very budget-friendly scooter. These go for only about $400 or so. That is after the discount code that they provide me to provide you. So if you are impressed at any point in this scooter, there's a link below. But let's just get it out of the box and see if it's actually any good. And if it's impressive, there's a link below. If it's not impressive, make your own decision. I don't really care that much. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, let's see what a $400 scooter looks like. So far, actually not horrible. Wow, all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. All right, that's just gonna have to happen. Okay. Oh, dang, all right, that's actually a solid clamping mechanism. That's one of the main things that sketches me out about folding stuff is like really cheap folding mechanisms, but that can click right in there. Okay, the kickstand is the correct length. How about that? For $400? Okay. Right, so here is the Smoosat SA3 e-scooter. Again, this only goes for about $400. Obviously, prices will change after this review is actually posted. So it could be anything right now. It could go down, could go up. I've seen it happen both ways. But at this moment, it's sitting right around $400. They say it does 15-ish miles per hour, just over that, 20 miles of range. And honestly, it does not look too bad for $400. So if it gets anywhere close to those specs, I, I will be happy with it. So here's the display, nothing crazy. It's a little bit smaller of a frame of a scooter. I obviously still have to tighten up the brake lever, but that's not a big deal. The brakes actually feel pretty good compared to a lot of other cheaper scooters I have ridden. These actually feel really nice. But yeah, nothing crazy on the screen. I'm wondering if I can change it to miles per hour. It is in kilometers per hour and kilometers at this moment. It did come with a full charge, so that's good. And I think clicking through the menu, there's sport mode, there's eco, there's drive, there's sport. I'm just gonna keep it in sport, obviously. And this is a kick scooter, so you have to have a little bit of momentum to actually use the throttle. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So far, actually not really not bad i like the look of it too those wheels look pretty cool so let's just jump on it see if it's actually any good i'll get on a test ride and see if it'll get the claimed specs or not so first let's but first let's get this thing out to the street and see if it actually looks good and performs well right off the bat i'll tighten this thing up and then we'll go do that all right let's do it All right, brake test. That'll stop you. That'll stop you. It's actually impressively powerful for how cheap it is. Yeah, really not bad. I think they really focused on the powertrain of this. There's no suspension, obviously, so it's probably pretty cheap to make like the frame and everything. So all of the money that they made producing it probably went into the motors and the electronics and whatnot. It is a little, obviously it's a little bit of a bumpy ride since there's no suspension. Luckily the wheels are actually pretty big so you don't feel it as much. Not bad at all, first impression. Um, we'll go on a first person view ride real quick and then I'll do a full range test top speed we'll just get all the good stuff anyway let's go on a longer ride and get some more overall thoughts all right riding the smoosat sa3 e scooter first impressions are definitely pretty good for 400 dollars. i am basing this review based on price this is a 400 dollar budget friendly cheap e-scooter this is not going to come with all the bells and whistles and i know that i've ridden scooters that have you know that are three and a half thousand dollars i've ridden a lot that are 800 and, you know plus and this one is the cheapest one that i have ridden and so far actually decently impressed with it obviously it's bumpy of a ride it's not super smooth there's not 
a suspension you know on it so it's gonna be decently bumpy while you ride but then again e-scooters don't really have the longest range it's not like a bike you're going for comfort these are kind of just for fun and just darting around town on for a short distance and a short amount of time so i'm not too concerned about the bumps really the motor and the powertrain though feel really nice i mean these feel just as powerful as some of the higher priced ones almost twice as much as this scooter it feels almost identical as far as far as powertrain speed acceleration that kind of thing goes really not bad as i said before i think that all the budget in this scooter went into the powertrain and whatnot it's a, a little bit of a smaller scooter it still feels fine i'm 6'3 200 pounds but i think it's a smaller frame and there's no suspension it's not blinged out too hard and so they could throw all the money for production into the actual powertrain the motor and the battery and so i think that's what happened so decently specced out as far as battery and motor goes not the most comfortable ride in the world but that's really not the point of this this is like if you got to get to work this is the kind of scooter that'll get you there you know for 400 bucks could take the place of another vehicle you know like a car or a bike or a motorcycle or something in some in some scenarios obviously <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we're getting up to 25 kilometers per hour, it says 26. That's about where it's peaking at. So that's roughly around, yeah, 15 and a half, 16 miles per hour. Yeah, really not bad, really not bad. I'm gonna see if I can change that to miles per hour. I know you probably can. I've had a lot of scooters that have very similar screens as this one and they could do it. So I'll figure it out. Dude, I couldn't even, I wouldn't even know that this was just a $400 scooter. Because you're going the same speed as most other scooters that you know in in a price range just twice as much as this so yeah anyway let's get this thing back home i'm just impressed that you can get an e-scooter electric scooter that does decent specs for 400 dollars now that's crazy yeah it definitely has electronic braking i wonder if you can turn it up a little bit honestly a pretty decent e-scooter so let's get this thing back home. I did find for the on off button, press and hold to turn on and off, press once to change gear, press twice to turn on and off the headlight, press three times to switch between metric and imperial. How about that? How about that? And then press five times to turn on and off cruise control. I actually do want it on, so one, two, three, four, five. How about that? How about that, man? And with that done, let's just take this thing out for a full extended range test. I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna go full throttle down the road here till it dies, see how many miles it gets. I'll let you guys know when I get back. I'll see you then. I just got back from riding the Smoosat SA3 electric scooter. Um, so, if you want to show them real quick, we got 13 miles on this charge. It's getting a little slower. You might get another half mile, maybe a mile out of it. So we'll just call it 14 miles with, with me riding it. I'm 6'3", 200 pounds. So obviously, if you're lighter and just a smaller frame person than me, you're going to get a lot more range than that. Um, but I personally saw 16 miles per hour as a top speed and I got 13 miles of range on one full charge And I'm just gonna say for $400. I'm not gonna complain. It's a bit of a I mean, it's a bit of a little, you know Bumpy kind of like vibrational ride, but again for $400. I am not gonna complain. This thing is a freaking like ultra compact folding uh, scooter <laughs> You could loosen that up. The owner's manual did say you could loosen it if you want to, but I'm actually okay with it. And it's nice and light too. Getting 16 miles per hour and 13 miles of range on a charge for how light and small and compact this thing is. I don't I don't know if you could get any I don't know if you could get any better than that cuz this will take you to work. This will take you to school. This will take you to hang out with friends and social events and stuff as if I do any of those. I almost have no complaints about it for the price. You know, $400 I know is is a lot for some people and whatnot but if you're looking for an electric vehicle like four hundred dollars will only get you like a non-electric vehicle you know so getting an electric vehicle for that price is pretty crazy anyway so that's the smoosat sa3 i hope you guys found this helpful i feel like it's a good scooter for the price 
There's a link below if you do want to check more into it. So enjoy if you want a cool electric scooter just to have fun on. I feel like this is the one for $400. I've only seen like kid scooters for that price. That's pretty much it. That's the Smoostat SA3. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you next time.